your interest in using dung beetles? We had dung beetles on previous properties in the Tambo area and we could see the benefit that they um, they had on, on the soils. And when we um, eventually purchased these properties in the Mulga lands, we noticed that there was relatively none here at all. Uh, and it was always the goal of ours to get dung beetles, but um, yeah, we've been through eight years of drought, so unfortunately that wasn't a priority. How did you even find someone that could supply you beetles? Um, there aren't many people that can supply beetles, especially live beetles. We, I phoned quite a few people and eventually um, found John at Soil Cam. Uh, he was great, very helpful, done a lot of research, has a lot of experience, and we purchased the first lot of beetles from him last November, uh, October and uh, released them. And did you start seeing them working straight away or did it take a while to...? No, um, they breed unbelievably quickly. Um, we actually released the first lot of beetles at a paddock here at Halton. Um, there were a lot of cows and calves in that paddock and it's relatively close to the house so we thought we'd, we'd see how they go. And then unfortunately about a month later we had to move the cattle and I can remember saying to my son, oh this is nice, we're going to remove the cows, remove the dung, what's going to happen to the dung beetles? It's approximately 12 kilometres over to Belrose um, where we moved the cattle and the day after we had the cattle in the yards and we were drafting them, the beetles were there in the cattle yards in, in the dung. We couldn't believe it, they obviously just travelled following the dung along. Awesome. And are you starting to see any difference in the paddocks, do you think, or do you think that might take a while longer? Look, it's, it's early, early days here, and we've been blessed with over nearly nine inches of rain. So I think to categorically say that all this is due to the dung beetles would be unfair, but we are monitoring all the sites where we have left the dung beetles and where they're very active at the moment, um, and yes, there is grass growing. Yes, we have had a lot of rain, so obviously that has helped as well. But when you see, um, you know, w where they're actually digging into the dung and burying it down into the ground, um, yeah, it is definitely making a difference. You know, a lot of the mulga lands, this is the wrong colour, but a lot of the mulga lands in areas where we're not allowed to manage is very hard soil like this, it's compacted. Um, and our hope is that um, by introducing dung beetles, they'll aerate the soil and fertilise it so that when we are lucky enough to get rain, uh, they will help grow some more grass. Yeah.